Hi guys, welcome to this quick review about this digital picture frame 10.5 inches full HD comes with a built-in storage of 32 gigabytes so plenty of space for a lot of pictures or videos can store easily up to 80,000 pictures and the great thing is you can connect it to a Wi-Fi anywhere, no matter if it's in your home or the home of your friends or parents or whatsoever. And then you can decide whom to give access. They can download the free app and then share the images here directly on the picture frame. So the pictures and videos will show up just in a couple of seconds. An awesome thing, awesome gift, perfect thing for family, friends. You can add authorization, you can revoke authorizations and you can see it has a great touch screen, great visibility and it works super stable. That's one of the biggest things here. It works absolutely fantastic. No matter if you have power outage or whatsoever, it will always come back. This is an awesome thing and then you have all the options all the settings you can see so many things here what you have so i'm going to show you what you get in the box how to set it up and how to use it and so here you have the whole packaging with some description so let's open it and so here you have everything really nicely protected i love this so we don't have to be worried that something gets damaged during shipping and so here we get this really nice beautiful photo frame here the back you can see we have two different options to hang it on a wall like portrait or landscape here we have the on off and here we have the stand which is part of the accessories that's the one here but also of course comes with the power supply and we get also user manual how this works with the Frameo, but I'm going to show you that anyway. And so we can add the stand here in the back as we want it. So we can have it in upright position as well or add it to a landscape position. Then we have it like that. Regarding ports in the back, we have the power port. And then we have USB-A and SD card reader so we can add pictures and videos from these two options or export videos and photos to these options. But as far as I know, this cannot extend the normal storage of the built-in 32 gigabytes, but this is already a lot. But the really good thing, if somebody doesn't have Wi-Fi, you could also use this as a standalone player. Just add some pictures or videos, add it here on a stick or SD card, and then it will play from there. So we are adding a power here. Turn it around. You can see it starts up. And then we have this warning at the beginning. But of course, it's just because we have been booting it up for the first time. But of course, this is also what happens after power outage or so. Then we have this countdown here. But after that, it will go to the normal menu. This is also an awesome thing because it runs super stable. So even after power outage, it will come back to the normal state where it plays the pictures and videos. And that's a huge advantage compared to other picture frames, which a lot of time get stuck. I've been using picture frames since many years, almost 20 years or so. And I always had huge problems. They are usually running for some time and then they get stuck. But I've been talking to many friends who have already a Frameo picture frame since many years. And they guaranteed me that this thing has never been stuck. So also an awesome thing for people who are not very tech savvy. So you don't have to troubleshoot this thing the whole time. It is running very reliable. So let's do the setup here. First the language. And of course after that we have to select the Wi-Fi where we want to connect. And apply the normal Wi-Fi password. Click on OK. It has already adjusted date and time. But we have to adjust the time zone. So here we have Eastern time. And so the time is perfect. We continue. There's an update available, so we download and install that. And of course, during this time, it's perfect to download and install the Frameo app on the smartphone already. For that, you can use the QR code here in the instructions. And you can see it confirms that everything is okay. We just wait till it continues. 
we confirm the language again, date, time, already up to date. Then we give a name to the Framio and location. And there's even a guide built in here, really nice. Perfectly described how to add users. It's very simple. Okay, we hit done. And so I've opened the app. And so we can add this frame here on the right top. And what we need is just simply a code from here. So we click on add friend. And now we have this code which we can share with our friends. Of course, we can also use it for ourselves. So we have to enter the code here. And so when you want to add a friend, you can share this code. You can make an image with your smartphone and send it by WhatsApp, text message, whatsoever. And then your friend can install the Frameo app, enter the codes there. And from then on, they can send pictures and videos directly to this frame. This is an absolute awesome system. Works very reliable. So we are entering the code, by the way, as far as I know, it's valid for about 12 hours. So it's saying connecting and it says a new friend was added. And now we can select the pictures and videos from our gallery, which we want to add to this frame. So I pick here just a few random ones. There's a limit. I can't remember how many, 15, 30, something like that. I have here nine. I click on this red arrow. I select the frame where I want to send it. Hit the right arrow. If I want, I can give it also a text and then I hit the red arrow again and then hit the send photos. I can even enable notification, enable that, give authorization. Now let's see what happens. So this took just a couple of seconds and now it starts adding all these pictures here. That's really nice. You will get a notification and you will see the pictures here. And so you don't have to do anything here at the frame. It will start automatically playing these photos. So I'll wait just a couple of seconds till it switches to the new image. And you have seen that already. It was a really nice, smooth transition to the next image. And so everything runs automatically. But you have a lot of possibilities also to manipulate that or for example, to go back. Maybe you just missed the last image. You saw it just maybe for a fraction of a second. Then you can always go back here to the last image. It's absolutely awesome. Or you can go to the menu, hit this thing here. You can add these people. You can react even on images. Then the sender will get some feedback. You can hide the image if you want. You can see the whole gallery. You can adjust the photo here, rotate it, for example. Make it fit to the frame and have a lot of other settings here. Again, you can see my frame, manage photos, managing friends, adjust the brightness, add some sleep options so it's not displaying during the night. Then some slideshow options, a lot. I'm not going to show you everything, but to get an idea how much we have, there's really a lot. Then Wi-Fi information, notification settings, backup and restore to SD card and even help and about so everything is here and when everything is perfect we can go back to the main menu which means it will just play picture after picture after picture and even videos of course you can also send short video clips they are playing really nicely as well here absolutely awesome great display great touch screen really nice and for me the thing which counts the most is the super high reliability of this thing and so i can highly recommend it and so if you're interested i'll put down the link to the amazon listing down into the description so you can check it out and order it right from there if you like it and i hope i've been able to help you a little bit with this video if you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below and i'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching see you next time